uh, we are rapidly approaching uh, where kids may be going back to school. They're at least going virtual. We know that. A lot mm-hmm. of places are going virtual. I think some places are still potentially going in person. How how does that affect? We, we, we've touched on it a little bit, but you know, to really dig deep on back to school, is there really a slowdown? We had a consulting call just yet, just this past week right. where, you know, other parts of the country were feeling the same thing. It's yep. like, man, why does this, why does this always happen every yep. single year? And one question I want to pose to you is with everything going virtual for right now, do we feel as though it's going to be hit as hard as it would normally? Yeah. Great question because your gut would tell you no, you're not driving your kids to school or just putting them on the bus or whatever. But my experience, my gut, my expertise tells me yes. And here's why. <clears throat> I just I just talked about it for a long time. There's more confusion than I'd say ever. I mean, I, I've lived through some crazy stuff. The Challenger explosion, 9-11. I mean, some really crazy, crazy stuff. Tech boom, I mean, tech bust, all that stuff. And I've never seen more widespread confusion, lack of clarity than than ever before. I feel like just about everyone I talk to, half of the conversation is about how can we make decisions? And every one of those conversations ends with, we don't have enough information to make any decisions about school, about investing, about jobs, about travel, about our children's health, our own security. Should I go there? Should I not? Should I see my parents? Should I not? I mean, we're almost every conversation ends in as much confusion and lack of clarity as it started with. And because of that, I believe back to school is going to last longer than normal. Normally it's a hard date. You start taking the kids to school two, three weeks later, you're in the grind, you're in the hustle, you're in the routine and and you're just rolling. It's like, you know, father time doesn't stop for anybody. But it feels like right now we're in this warp scenario where back to school might last six weeks or nine weeks. Uh, our school district went to a nine week grading period. So you can reassess every nine weeks. So I think everyone's kind of feeling that for, like, what's it going to be like? Online school is not going to be like it was in the spring because the, the districts have had time to actually coordinate it. And you're still not you know, going into the office or dropping the kids off. So I, I anticipate back to school will actually last longer. Do you feel as though it may normal. be like a little, uh, not as heavily done, so even though it's like it would last longer, but would, it may not be as like intense. Normally I would tell you that back to school puts a pause button on our real estate market for two weeks. I would say, yeah, it's probably not a full pause, but slow motion and it might last six to nine weeks. Right? So it might be more impactful than ever before, but not quite as intense in the short term. And if that doesn't make sense to people, here's what I think is going to happen. You know, some percentage of the market is going to say, I don't, I can't really think about that right now until we figure out school. I don't know what percentage it is, but it's more than normal. And I think it will last longer than normal. But at the same time, because people are going to be doing school and work from anywhere with an internet connection, I think some people are going to say, well, we could still move because we can do this from wherever, right? If you move within the school district, it's not like you're necessarily moving elementary schools. You're just moving internet connections, right? Right. So um, there are some districts that are going to go back to physical school. They're not in counties where there are these restrictions. For example, in our area, Dallas County has heavy restrictions. There, are, The districts that have no campuses in Dallas County are looking at going to physical school sooner. Now, we'll see how that all happens. But I'm not a school expert. I'm not a health expert. I'm, I'm, I'm confident enough to say I am a real estate expert. And, and if you're not anticipating this having some impact, watch out. Now, let me give us a couple of quick nuggets. Sellers need to have a good strategy for this. You need to be aware of how this is going to impact you. It doesn't mean you avoid selling. It, you just factor that in. Buyers need to take advantage of this. Buyers need to be looking for sellers who didn't have a good strategy and didn't see this company coming and expected everything to fall into their lap perfectly and might experience some delays and confusion around back to school where buyers could find some real opportunities. If we can help you with that, you can call us anytime, 214-310-0008. That's the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Or you could text us, 214-310-0008. Or you can always go online to overunderagent.com. We have agents on our team that are already prepping sellers for what 
early to mid August is going to look like. We've been talking about that with our clients for two weeks already. Yep. And we've been training on it, like Ian said, on our consulting calls with the agents we train around the country and with our team training for our team members here in DFW. Um, we're talking about these things a month or two before they happen. So our agents have our strategy totally wired and we've investigated the market and felt it out and we can coach our clients to to huge record breaking success. Yeah, one thing I wanna just touch back on that you had mentioned uh, that I actually had a conversation with somebody this past week was the idea that um, during this back to school time, there's almost an opportunity where buyers are gonna feel more comfortable because of the right. fact that they don't have to get their child in a physical school right. to meet with new friends and to meet new teachers yep. because it's going to all be online. It almost is you know, a potential opportunity there. It, it definitely is a potential. Yeah, to be able to, um, to reach more buyers than you normally would at this time of year. Right, and I think the big opportunity for buyers is you're gonna have some sellers who have been really, really, really confident lately, who might have a two to three or four week lapse in confidence, right? They're like, oh, what's going on? You know, we'll get less showings this week. Uh, you know, I thought we'd have an offer in five minutes and it's been 11 days, like what's going on? If you're a buyer, the next three to six weeks is probably the best opportunity you have the rest of the year until maybe the week of Christmas. Well, I was gonna say, it almost feels like the winter, right? Where, right. yeah, you may have less showings, there may be what feels like less uh, foot traffic coming through, but the quality of the buyer that's right. out there looking right now is so high. 